going to start by opening Designer. And when we open Altrix Designer, you may get a splash page that you can close. And here is our blank canvas. Note the toolbar at the top, the configuration window to the left, our canvas where we can drop tools, and I have a floating results window at the bottom. I'm going to start by pulling an input tool, dragging and dropping it to our canvas, and on the configuration window, selecting set up a connection. I'm going to select files, select file, and find the file I'm interested in in my computer. We're going to take a look at the top 100 most streamed songs from last year. This is in a CSV file. I'll open that. Now if I click on the output anchor, we won't see anything yet because we have not run the workflow. So this is a critical thing you want to remember in order to see your results from a configuration to a tool you must run the workflow. In the upper right corner we select the run button and now notice we have an annotation below our input tool that tells us the name of the file that we connected to. Below our configuration we see the different fields and values for the different fields. So we're looking at the titles and here's a list of the titles. It won't show them all but we'll show at the first 100. If we click on that output anchor we see the results. I'm going to pull this up so we can see a little more and it lists the field names along the top. It tells us there were 14 fields and it's displaying the first 100 records. So we can scroll over to see the names of all of these fields. Now for a quick demo we're just going to be interested in a few of these fields. So like our intro notes, we will use a, full of, a few of the preparation tools to produce an output file that doesn't include all of this data, but just things we're interested in. So we're going to base our interest on the popularity, and we don't need all of these different fields included in our output. So I will bring a select tool onto the canvas. Let it connect from the output of our input tool. And we're going to configure this to show the title, the artist, the genre, the year. But then we're not so interested in the beats per minute, the energy, the danceability, the loudness, the liveness, the length. So I'm turning all of these off by clicking on them. We do want the popularity. When we look at the output, it says no data available because we have not run the workflow. So let's go ahead and run the workflow and now look at the output and we see there are now only five fields showing. We have not removed anything from the original CSV file. That has remained the same. We have just made changes along our workflow to produce our output file for the information we're interested in. So let's drag a sort down to the canvas and let's sort this on popularity. In our configuration window, we select the popularity and 
In this case, the higher numbers mean better, I think. <laughs> We're going to assume that. So we'll sort this in descending order. Again, if I click on the output, we don't have any yet because we did not rerun our workflow. I'm stressing this because this is an easy mistake to make. Note too that Control R is a shortcut key to run the workflow and I'll do that this time to demonstrate it. Now our output is showing these from most popular to least popular. Let's assume we're just interested in the top 10 songs as we saw in the sample introductory notes. We're going to put a sample tool here and we're just going to show the first 10 rows. So we're just going to show the top 10 songs based on popularity. Run the workflow and looking at our output we see the top 10 popular songs that were in that CSV file. I'm going to write this to an output file so I will drag an output data tool and we will configure this to write it to a spreadsheet. I'm clicking on setup connection. I'm going to select a file. I have choices as to what type of file to create here. The default is an Altrix database which can be read into Altrix but we're going to use an Excel file. So I'm clicking on the save as type and let's find Excel. I'm going to name it most popular songs streamed and say save. We can specify a sheet. I'm fine with sheet one but if you want to change the name here we can and just to demo that, demo that let's do it. I'll name this top 10 streamed songs 2022 and say OK. Now notice there isn't an output from here because when we're talking about input output from tools it's in relation to each other and the overall workflow. So this may feel strange. Our output data tool has an input anchor but no output anchor because its job is to actually produce that file. So when we run it and we go to our messages we see that 10 records were written to the most popular song stream.xlsx, which did not exist before we ran the workflow. And we can click right on this link to see that file. We'll open it in Excel and show us the information. I think that covers our first workflow, and I look forward to working with you using Alteryx for the next few weeks. I'm going to save this, save as, let me put this in my folder, demo one, popular song list. This will save it as a designer workflow which has a .yxmd extension.